Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. We've had a request. Uh, it's related to the last video that we did regarding the Intel Arc A380. And it's from somebody called Mystery Chemical. And he says, this is his response to the video. It says, yes, this is the actual video I'm looking for as a content creator. It's very, very difficult to find simple test videos like this, despite the card being released for some time now. Tired of seeing AV1 streaming or gaming performance issue videos. If possible, would you mind comparing the exact same video render with the cheapest NVIDIA card or the card from NVIDIA that you have? Now, I have the RTX 2060, so that's what we'll be using. Also, could you include the playback or rendering GPU usage details with HW Info? And he's also asked my current uh, PC set up so i've given him that in the reply and you can see what i'm using down in the replies there as well so that's what we're going to do if i understand his question right what he wants to see is um the difference between rendering with the rtx card and the intel card now obviously i won't be able to do av1 recording on the rtx card so i will do h264 and h265 on both cards and Whatever the differences are, we'll show them for Mystery Chemical and whoever else is interested. I hope I got that right. That's what I'm going to do. If it's not right, Mystery Chemical, get back to me again and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, so here we are back in DaVinci Resolve. So let's have a look. We have preferences, memory and GPU. So as you can see in there, we have the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060. I've taken out the Intel card. Let's have a look. Let's play that back. And while it's playing back, we shall bring in HWinfo. You can see all of the information there on the CPU memory and GPU. And we'll also bring in Task Manager so you can see the usage. So we're getting 61% on the GPU, around 21, 20% on the CPU. This is just playing back that bit of footage within DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so we shall stop that now and we shall go over to the render page. Let's call this VEC 4K H264 and it's MP4 H264 4K 30 frames a second. Add that to the render queue and we shall start rendering. So we're getting around 23 frames a second there. Let's bring in Winfo, HWinfo and we'll also bring in Task Manager. And as you can see there, it's using around 65, 66% of the GPU. It's gone up to 71 and it will go up to 100% on the CPU. Okay, so you can see all that info. So I'll just drop that there and keep an eye on this GPU usage because I'm going to show you something at the end. Once I've done these renders on both cards, I'm going to show you something when both cards are used together. In DaVinci Resolve, we shouldn't be able to use two GPUs at the same time. You can't select them in the options anyway, but I noticed something and we'll get into that towards the end of the video. Yep, it's finished. So it's done in three minutes and 44 seconds. Okay, so let's get rid of these a second and we shall render that out again. But this time we should do it in H.265 and we'll change that to H.265, change that to H.265. So we'll use the same options on the Intel card as well. So everything else is the same. 4K, 30 frames a second, add to the render queue and start rendering. Let's have that over there like we did before. And we'll bring this back in as well. I'll leave that up and running there so as you can see the usage. So we're using 76% of the GPU, all down to 42% there. So that's quite up and down. And the CPU usage is 52%-ish at the moment. It was a bit higher at the beginning. We'll let that play through and see what happens there. And this is actually rendering, I think, a bit faster, a little bit faster than real-time playback. You can see the video encoder being used there. Okay, coming up to 90, 99%. And there we are. And that was done in two minutes, 54 seconds. So a full minute, almost faster than H.264. Uh, so let's come out of there again now. So we shall swap over now to the Intel card, see what the differences are. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I've taken out the GeForce RTX and I put the Intel card back in. So let's pop back into DaVinci Resolve. And here we are. I've swapped the cards so we now have the intel card in the machine and there it is there and we'll just play this back for a second 
bring that in and bring this back in as well. There we are. So you can see that plays back quite well on the art card. No issues there. Using 21% of the CPU and 76% of the ARC A380. Yeah, no problems playing that back. Playing back at 30 frames a second. No issues at all there. We'll just take these back out. And we shall stop that. And we should go to the world. Well, we were in the end page playing that back, so that's quite good. So we'll change this to VEC ARC H264. Make sure that's on there, MP4, H264, 4K, 30 frames a second, and we shall render that out. We shall bring back in the HW info, and we shall also bring back in this. Now, I don't know if you can notice, but my image down in the corner is very jerky. Okay, and that is the card not coping on its own with running the machine, running OBS, and running DaVinci Resolve and rendering at the same time. So if I bring this in, you can see we have all reds. Red, red, red. So this is why we're getting this jerkiness in my image in the corner. Now you wouldn't notice that DaVinci Resolve because it's rendering, so it's, it's jerky anyway. But you can see that is jerky. Look at my image down in the corner. It can't cope at all. And we're getting lots and lots of drop frames. My audio should be okay. You should be able to hear that, so that should be good. Um, but as you can see, it's using all of the GPU. 100% of the GPU to render this out. It's jerky. It's not good. And it doesn't like it at all. So we'll let that go to the end. Lots of drop frames. Lots and lots of drop frames. This card does not like working on its own with this setup, which is AMD Ryzen 7 5700G, uh, 32 gigabytes of RAM. And on its own, this card doesn't seem to be doing too well. And it did that in four minutes and 33 seconds. But boy, did it use some resources and it really didn't like being used at the same time as everything else on the computer still dropping frames even though we're not re not um, rendering anymore take that out of there and we'll do the same again in h.265 although i can't see it being much better but we shall see exactly the same settings add to the render queue and render away and there we go so let's bring back H H Winfo 64 again. We're dropping frames left, right, and center on its own. H.265 doesn't like it at all. Again, you can see me being all juddery again. Again, the sound should be okay. So when this is done, we shall put the machine back together with both cards in, and we shall go through it all again, just to show you how much better it is. But as I said earlier, this was a requested video for one of our viewers, so I had to do it. Just pop this back in to show you that we're still getting all them millions of drop frames. We do not like it. Do not like it at all. And it did that in six minutes and seven seconds. Okay, so I've put the machine back together again. We now have the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 in, and we also have the Intel Arc A380. Back in the machine running together. So let's go back over to DaVinci Resolve and see how that goes. Playback. Oh no, first of all, let's go into settings, preferences rather, memory and GPU. And as you can see, both cards are in there, but we've got the GeForce selected to run the machine again. So let's save that and we'll go to playback and we'll play that. And you can see it's instantly running at 30 frames a second. Let's bring in uh, HW info so you can see all that. And we'll also bring in Task Manager so you can see all of that as well. So it is using both the cards. I'm not sure if the DaVinci Resolve is using both cards, um, but it's, it's running fine. And you can see my face isn't jerky while it's playing, so that's fine. So let's come out of there, stop that. And uh, we'll take that out of there as well, we'll stop that playing. And we should go into the render page and we shall call this RTX and Arc MP4. But this time we'll run it, render it out in AV1. 
Um, same settings, 4K, 30 frames a second. Leave all that as was. So we shall add that to the render queue and we shall render. Okay, we shall bring back in HWIN info and we shall also bring back in Task Manager. And as you can see, I'm not jerky anymore. I'm not cutting in and out. And that's rendering uh, at 30 frames a second, so around playback time. All the info's here for you to see. It is using both GPUs. Now, 95% of the Intel card is being used because we are using the codec. The Arc is using pretty much all of itself because we're rendering out in AV1. And the NVIDIA, I presume, is running everything else. But as you can see, it's running smoothly and I'm moving smoothly. There's no jerkiness or anything in the video. So we shall let that go to the end and uh, we'll have a catch up then. See you in a bit. Run out of tea. Smooth as a tub of I can't believe it's not butter. Okay, we're at the end of that. And that took two minutes and 56 seconds. So that's the almost the fastest render. The fastest render was um, the second one we did, which was H.265. That was two minutes and 54. So two second difference in AV1 and no issues with playback rendering, recording using OBS and running the machine. So both GPUs together, it's a winner. So no problems at all there for both of the cards together. No problems running the machine, running OBS, recording OBS, running DaVinci Resolve and rendering in DaVinci Resolve right into the disks, no issues whatsoever. So two cards together, winner. So as I said in the beginning, this was a requested video from one of our viewers. His name is Mystery Chemicals. So I hope that gave you the information you needed. Um, if it didn't, give me a shout and I'll do it all again. Okay, see you soon. Bye-bye.